Okay, I'm good. Hey, good afternoon, grade seven. Welcome to the cafeteria at Tech Boston Academy for our student of the month assembly. We are here to shout out some of the amazing things that have been happening this past month. Well, it's been weeks, but month as well. Um, from school now into this online learning school, our virtual school. What we're calling on all of you and what you're doing is you are showing up. You're not in this room, this cafeteria. You're in the room you're watching this in, jumping in Google Classroom, jumping on websites. In Ms. LaFawn's website, which is one of my favorite websites around, um, some of you are jumping in Ms. Rakowskis's challenges. You are being here by being there. Um, and that's super important. The next part of important is our mission. It's being more. And every day you sign in, even if it's not five days a week, that's you becoming more and you being more. So today we talk about a group of students that your teachers are highlighting. If it's not your name, never worry about that. Be proud of the person, but be proud of yourself for anything you hear about them that you do too. And if there's anything about them that you're not doing, now's a good time to practice. We have a lot of time on our hands. Um, today is about the student of the month. And on Friday, Good Friday, even though it's a day off, I'll drop another video about our students who have been caught being awesome again. Um, you guys have led the charge on that. We've now added that to the sixth and the eighth grade. You should be very proud. It was something that worked. And now other people are following your lead. Um, so that said, I want to kick off this assembly. So I'm reaching up to turn off my pin, unpin video. And I am going to introduce one of the most amazing teachers you'll ever meet. Ms. Brown has the whole world in her hands. Ms. Brown. All right, seventh grade. Um, thank you so much for everyone who's been participating and staying in contact and communicating with us. Um, and I know that we're gonna get more and more people involved um, as we go on in this time. Um, but a cup, there's been so many people who have uh, really stood out and have been posting um, their thoughts about um, each one of the assignments and also commenting on their classmates. So we have a really good chain of communication. Um, so the first person I want to shout out is Joel Lopes Ortega. Um, he has his, his responses to C the CNN posts have been absolutely amazing. I tend to write a paragraph back to him. Um, I love hearing where he wants to go on vacation um, and how he's been kind of putting the pieces together about how this whole COVID-19 thing is unfolded. And then the second uh, person I want to shout out, which I, I'm, I shouldn't be surprised how, um, how he's been doing um, because he started to, to really turn it up. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, Kimani Buchanan, that's all I gotta say. I gotta shout him out. Uh, he has stepped it up like I have never seen. Um, and so we're so, so, so proud of you. I know it's not just in my class, it's in a bunch of different classes. So Kimani, keep doing what you're doing. You deserve it. You should be proud of yourself. Um, and I'm gonna text your mom too and let her know. Meredith, that's, it's on you. All right. Seventh graders, we really miss you guys and hope you're all doing okay. Um, like Miss Brown, I wanna make sure that I give a shout out to everybody who's, um, Kind of giving advice to each other about how to how to navigate this remote learning and people who are uh just kind of starting to to get on board um i'm loving seeing that i've been texting lots of parents lately um to make sure they know that their kids are are really killing it but so i'm let me move on to the nomination for the science superstar of the month so this student Oh, I had to write it backwards. This student did every assignment. This queen of commitment. <laughs> this science superstar of the month, written backwards. Well, written the right way, but registering backwards, goes to... Yes, queen, killing it. Ah, I can't turn up my plug. Um, so nice work, lady. You haven't missed a, 
going to sign that at all. You're really killing it, and your work is beautiful, as are so many other people. So I'd love to – let's see who's going to be next for the next nomination. And so take it away, Mr. Lamana. Thank you, Ms. Martin. Uh, hi, seventh grade. I hope you're all having a fantastic time at home, learning remotely and learning new stuff in a new way. Um, big shout out to everybody that is turning in work, contacting teachers, uh, and just giving 100%. Uh, I'm going to keep it real quick. I have one student that has been off the radar, doesn't have much questions, just follows the tutorials in my class, turns in the assignments, turns in the work, and it's always 100% correct. Uh, so well done, Empress Irish Warren. Good job. Uh, and now I'm going to pass it over to uh, Ms. LaFont. Hi, seventh graders. Um, this was such a hard pick. Uh, I could list dozens of you who have been just superstars all around getting work done. Learning from home is really, really challenging. And so many of you are working really hard. So shout out to all of you. Um, and I really had to narrow down my list. And there were just a couple students who really, really stood out, not just for really taking their time with the work, um, but showing up to Zoom meetings, improving things that are already really good, like a 95 isn't enough. They, they go back in and they really try to get 100% on every assignment. Um, so the two students that I'm shouting out this month, and there were so many that I wanted to say, um, like Malik Frederick and 125, but... Um, so yes, Malik, yes to you, 100%, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, but the top two for ELA for now um, are Abby Moody and Jalissa Lopes. All right, next up, Ms. Kometz. All right, ooh, thanks, Ms. LaFond. Uh, hi, seventh grade, um, I miss you all, and I hope that you're having a very safe and healthy time at home during this quarantine. Um, and I, so many of you have been doing such amazing work during this difficult time, but I'd really like to shout out someone who it seems to really be thriving through online learning. Like she is doing all of her work. She is sending me pictures of her work from her phone. Um, she is contacting me via email. She's completed all of her assignments and that is Miss Jasmine Perez Arias. She is killing Ooh. it. And I would like you to keep up the good work. And I am going to send it over to Miss Espy. Hey, seventh grade, we really miss you guys and um, are really enjoying like connecting with you online. Keep up the really good work and um, the positivity online. Um, my student of the month is going to Mahadi in N125 because he is always on Zoom calls, um, doing his work, like almost always the first to turn in and is getting like 100% on all of his work, going back and correcting it. And so I really appreciate him being spectacular. I'm gonna pass it over to Miss McCain. All right, thanks. Hi, seventh grade. Um, special shout out to N109. Just like all your teachers, I miss you as well um, and hope you're doing well. Um, I want to give a special shout out to someone who doesn't miss a Zoom meeting. Um, the unit we're in right now requires a lot of hands-on stuff and the fact that um, you're doing such a great job, all of you, um, with this online learning stuff is really impressive. But um, just one person I want to shout out for never missing a Zoom meeting, turning in his work all the time, helping his classmates when we're on Zoom is Dio Almonte. So congratulations. <laughs> and I'm going to pass it off to Ms. Brunel. Hi, 7th grade 2025. I miss you guys. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I've been in contact with most of you um, and things have been going pretty good. So for my student of the month, um, I selected a girl who, whether we are physically together in the building or digitally together online, I know personally I can always rely on her. She always goes above and beyond what's expected of her and does it with a very pleasant smile on her face um, and always uh, has a good, a wonderful attitude about everything and takes challenges on um, and is very successful. And that person is Miss Claudine Hawthorne. 
Nice job, Claudine. So proud of you. And I'm going to pass it on to Mr. Cleary. Yeah, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Thank you, Miss. Um, um, <laughs> I want to say April. Um, Brunel, right? Thank you. If y'all haven't been watching the website, that's a mistake I made the other day. So no mistakes in this room and absolutely no mistakes if the video screen works like this up above me. I want to thank my shout out are the teachers of the decade. Um, yes, this is student of the month. Um, I just got a breaking news, breaking news, put in the wacky and wacky Wednesday. I'm told that Ms. Rakowskis just busted in. Ms. Rakowskis, are you here to speak to us? I'm here real quickly and I'm sorry to hijack. I just didn't want to miss out. I've been in a couple of other Zooms, but hi, seventh grade. I miss you so much. I just wanted to give special recognition um, a Dallas, thank you for submitting all of your amazing work and entering all these challenges. And I just wanna remind grade seven that there are contests and challenges almost every day on the arts page. We're giving away cash and gift cards every day. So please check it out if you haven't. And again, I really miss you all. And thanks for letting me come into your student of the month assembly a little bit late. Thanks, Mr. Cleary, back to you. Hey, awesome. And thanks for being here. Thanks for everything you're putting on the website. Ms. Rakowskis drops every day on her website. She drops on Wednesdays with a special episode of Wacky Wednesdays on the Respect website every Wednesday. Also on that topic, Coach Seeker and Mr. Buckley just sent me two new episodes. I'll drop one tomorrow. Um, pretty hilarious stuff. So keep checking in on that website. Um, back to my mistakes I make, Ms. Brunel. Um, Adalis, I always say Adelise when I'm reading those cards, so I apologize for that as well. Um, so back to y'all, students of the month, there are so many more names. We're gonna hear some of those names on Good Friday, uh, this coming Friday. I'll record the video, I'll play it, I'll give away the prizes on that day, five prizes um, because of the great things you're doing. It is a day off, but um, I do want us to always stay connected. That said, I'm proud of all of you. Keep up the amazing work, your teachers are proud of you. Um, and we're gonna be especially proud of me if I am actually able to turn this into a real video and put it on the website. So if you're watching this, give me a shout out sometime. Take care, everybody.